This is Tower Defense Simulator's Minigunner Tower, Tower Battles Commando, Tower Blitz's Vulcan, and Tower Hero's Cat Selling Lemonade Tower. All different takes on essentially the same core concept. It's interesting to see the different routes developers take in the tower defense genre, be it the stats, the skins, the models themselves. Putting aside the drama and just taking these towers at face value, some common TDS units get pretty big upgrades in other games and vice versa. So I want to look at the most iconic units in all of Roblox tower defense. Take the Accelerator. Now in TDS, this is already a highly prestigious tower. The costly gem price tag, the high damage, the futuristic laser gun wielding design. This new lightning by the way looks kind of funky, I don't know. It's all there, yet it shares some similarities with the tower battles unit Phaser, a similar tower in aesthetic if not exact function, using a laser gun to lock onto zombies and gaining more damage as it charges. What's really interesting is the tower's visuals, starting off with a simple visor and RGB laser gun, before later spreading mechanical medusa-like tendrils from its helmet, which shoot even more lasers a very futuristic, cyborg-like aesthetic, which itself looks mildly akin to Electricizer. But this is where the similarities between concepts start to deviate pretty heavily, as this Tower Blitz unit shoots individual projectiles rather than lasers, or kind of lasers, more like electricity, you know, and gains a massive death cannon upgrade, which costs even more than the other two towers. As someone who's played this game a decent amount, yeah, it's pretty overpowered. But compared to some of the other iconic towers, it's not that crazy. Like, what about flying units? You might imagine TDS's Pursuit, or maybe Tower Battle's Aviator, and I raise you, Balloon Pal. Noticeably different from the others, featuring a stylized little hero, who literally gains an entire floating headquarters. Like, why isn't this in TDS? Come on. We have heavy artillery, mythical beings, animated plushies, but nothing really like the Tower Heroes troops. Along with the Balloon Pal, there's this little ghost jamming out, a cat selling lemonade, which can use the skin to turn into a massive molten peak dripping lava. I guess that's the lemonade they're buying now. There's even a little bomb guy, which evolves into this somewhat terrifying massive final stage. So overall, a pretty mature range of themes. Compared to the other TD games, I'd say Heroes has the most creative tower design, although the aesthetic embraces is not quite as realistic as the others, and I don't know if any of these are quite as iconic as other standouts. Take the Zed from Tower Battles, one of the game's most popular towers, which even had a Roblox toy made, a futuristic rolling tread tank which costs a ton of money, but is also extremely powerful. As someone who has played tower battles for only a couple hours total, this tower is still clearly pretty broken, on par with TDS's take being the mecha base, a tower which was actually broken, and you can currently only obtain it if you are an admin. So yeah. It started off being pretty clearly inspired by the Zed, but over time was reworked to a more unique form, gaining legs, becoming a mecha robot walker with some very unbalanced stats. Now I can't actually use this tower, but having played with both Thatcher and Bear, I can confirm, while recording this we almost actually lost, it's still very strong, trust me. Yet even this doesn't compare to the final form of this idea, the biggest tower in any Roblox TD game. For that, you need Recon Base, one of the hardest units to get in Tower Blitz. It starts off simply, a spawning tower with a few soldiers, some military vehicles, a missile launcher, a tank, other TD games, all have towers which have pretty similar concepts. But what's truly special about Recon is that it has a secret beyond max level upgrade. You have to do this whole really painful quest mission thing which I haven't done because it's hard, but if you do it, you can unlock level 5, which spawns the bliss of finality, aka a literal giant spaceship which is the size of like a hundred regular towers. It has two versions, each fitted with multiple turrets, and a massive laser cannon, which can deal a pretty good amount of damage. I don't know if I'd call it the objectively best tower, but to me, it is undoubtedly the most impressively made unit in any Roblox game. Or at least it would be, if this little guy didn't exist. The Egg Thrower. He's not a spaceship, and he doesn't have a giant death cannon. He has a little death cannon, but I repeat, he's an egg thrower. You have to subscribe for this. This is a tower in a lesser known TD game, Over V Climax Tower Defense. I don't know about that name, but uh, for the player count, I was pleasantly surprised. It has many icons of the genre, along with some more inventive takes. Newer games in the field typically implement some pretty interesting concepts to try to stand out. Take the Slumberjack Tower, with a chainsaw ability reminiscent on TDS's old Shredder variant, or the steampunk-esque design for the minigunner stand-in, with these being in Project Tower Defense another underrated game. There's a guitarist, an obvious riff if you will, on the standard musical support tower, and the crossbower with a medieval knight theming. I don't know how he's gonna see in that, but yeah. Not entirely new ideas, but some pretty creative execution in the designs themselves, which feels refreshing after spending so
so long in the same towers. Still, there is a reason some of them are so well known. Farm, for instance, shows up in pretty much every game. You got the farm, the farm, the market, the digital cacher, the list goes on. Or you have the engineer, another classic originally from Bloon's Defense, or TF2 if you ask an AI. It can beat Molten almost entirely by itself, with the only real downside being how difficult it is to obtain. A trait shared with the mechanic. I remember having a pretty painful time trying to get this tower when I used to play Tower Blitz a lot. Yet yeah, it is worth it. Kind of. It's definitely not as electric as TDS's version, but it has a very clean design and a handy ability which can generate stun blocking shields. While TDS has obviously taken massive influence from tower battles, they really innovated in terms of tower skins, expanding it into a legitimate part of the gameplay loop, and creating a range of designs which have only grown more unique over the years. In general, TD Games has some of the best skin selections out there. Of course, TDS has an echo line, iconic, or the newly introduced plush skins. Tower Blitz has gems like the Scrooge McDuck themed businessman, I actually really like this one. Or the Kugel Blitz set, with their ethereal dark neon designs. And Tower Heroes has an overwhelming amount of unique skins. But these ones on screens are some of my favorites from browsing a bit. Still, even with all these towers, there are a lot more iconic units. And I'd like to make a pseudo part 2 to this eventually. So leave a comment on what towers you like. Let me know if you should make vids about other TD games. Leave a like and subscribe because 